Hey guys, welcome to Hassan's Halal Review. So we're heading to Dean's Cheesesteak and Pizza for the second time. There's a lot of menu items that I didn't get to try out and I really wanted to. So let's go and check them out. Pasta, okay. There's the pasta on this. We have a different menu this time. All right, so we ended up getting another menu, uh, the actual one. So hopefully we can see what we actually want this time. Um, I'm still going to try to get the double cheeseburger. Uh, and then you said you want pasta. I see pastas right here. Yeah, Which I'm going to get again? the spaghetti with meat sauce. Spaghetti with meat sauce. So we're gonna do the pizza half half. So I'm I'm thinking the meat lovers pizza, and then maybe the supreme on the other side. The restaurant is spacious and very clean. It's a great atmosphere to get together with friends and family. So this is the uh, total. We had the double cheeseburger here for twelve. We had the spaghetti with meat sauce for thirteen. So it came to thirty one with tax and tip. We also ordered the uh, large uh it was uh it's not on here either okay so it was like half a meat lover and then half supreme uh which came to 15 but we had a coupon a voucher so we didn't uh we didn't get charged for it on the receipt but um that's just for those two items is 31 after tips thank you Thanks. Wow, guys, so this looks really good. This is the meat lover side right here, and we have the supreme side right here. So you can see some vegetables here, and this is strictly meat right now. I think there's uh, beef pepperoni, chicken, and steak inside. And this one has green pepper, onion, olives, and chicken. So this is the large size. Last time you guys saw the small size. So this will definitely feed a big family. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to try both of these and we'll give you a taste test and let you know how we feel about it. So these are these slices are pretty generous. You can see here and you can still hear the nice flaky crispiness of the crust. This is going to be my favorite part right here. All right, so we're going to try the meat lovers one first. It's still really hot. Oh, wow. I got a little beef pepperoni here, a little bit of chicken, and a steak piece right here. It's cooked really well. Let me try one more. So, the beef tastes really good, especially on the pepperoni. The, um, the chicken is well done, and the steak, and the steak's really good. I'd say the the crispiness is there. I like all the flavors, and and they go really well together. So I give this a nine out of ten. That crust is so soft. And it feels like thin crust, even though it's like rising crust. But it's really good. So I'm going to try the Supreme one. The Supreme pizza next. So that's this one right here. With all the veggies. Thank you. It's hot. Don't touch. Yeah, that looks hot. Okay. Not too bad. I didn't like this one as much as I like the meat lovers. 
because the green pepper and onion are a little bit stronger. They're a bit more raw than I'm used to. But overall, the taste is good. The ingredients are fresh. And I feel like everything works well together. So I give it an eight and a half out of ten. So this is the pasta. And from what I see originally, like right away, I, I noticed that it has a lot more meat and sauce than I'm used to seeing in restaurants. Usually this feels like homemade. If you're to make it at home, it would feel like this. But yeah, usually you see a lot more pasta. So here we have the pasta. It looks really homemade. And uh, from what I can tell, I think they said that this beef here was uh, grass-fed. So we're going to give it a taste test. Okay. It's a lot more meaty than I'm used to. So it's mildly salty. And this is quite a generous portion for the, uh, for the, I think it's $12. It's not too bad for the value. So give it one more chance. It has a good taste. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. This looks like a really nice juicy burger. I can't wait to dig into this one. Here we get a double cheeseburger. It has all your typical toppings here. So we're going to give this a bite and let you know what we think. The cheese is melted on nicely. The beef tastes really well. I think it's a little bit overdone. Like it's well done here, you can see. But I do believe the menu said that all the burgers are well done. And if you wanted it differently, you can probably ask them to revise it. But overall, this, the flavors in here are really good. I would say this is a 9.5 out of 10. Very, very well done. I think what would make this a 10 would be if there was like a spicy version of it. So you could add something, a different flavor, or they had like a variety of spices you could add to it or maybe even jalapeno peppers or something but overall this is a very well done burger and that's why it got nine and a half out of ten very good so i literally ate this in like a second this burger is really good it's one of my favorites i'm definitely going to get this and that meat lovers pizza next time i come here because they're phenomenal i'm really glad i came back overall i think this place is great i think i have to revise my rating from last time just simply because there are some things that i overlooked so we have here the uh, we have the high chair for for the child. Last time we didn't see that, and we thought that that was a, a minus. Also, the beef is grass fed, which is something that I didn't know about know about, but now I do, and I think that's a great thing to have like really healthy uh, beef. And also, I really love the the pepperoni. I didn't get a chance to have it since I only had steak last time. And their, their burger was surprisingly really well, uh, really well done. So I would say that overall this place deserves a 9 out of 10. Thanks everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow for more uh, content in the future. Hope to see you next time.